Hi, this is Dr. Lance Walsh with the Advanced Urology Institute at Titus. And with it being Bladder Health Awareness Month and Movember, I would like to take a moment to inform you of a bothersome condition known as overactive bladder, or OAB. The symptoms include urinary frequency and urgency. Did you know that there are things in your diet that can exacerbate the, these symptoms, like alcohol, caffeine, spicy foods? Altering your lifestyle may help improve your symptoms. If that doesn't work, there are medications we can give you to help relax your bladder. Maybe you've heard of some of them. Oxybutynin, Mervetric, Vesicare, Enablex, Detrol, there's a, a, a quite a few of them. If the medications aren't successful, there are third line therapies, including posterior tibial nerve stimulation, which involves placement of a needle electrode in the doctor's office in the ankle region and simulating the posterior tibial nerve for about 30 minutes. These sessions take place once a week for 12 weeks and maintenance is once every three weeks after that. As an alternative to posterior tibial nerve stimulation, there is bladder Botox. Botulinum toxin is a known uh, toxin that's used for medical purposes. It helps to cause muscle paralysis. So if your bladder is overactive, your bladder's a muscle, if we inject the medicine into the muscle, it will help to treat this bladder overactivity. It's typically done in the office with an office procedure that takes less than 30 minutes. We could do it with a local anesthetic. Finally, uh, the third option is InterStem, which is an implant of a uh, device that adjusts the uh, nerve input and stimulus from your brain to your bladder and makes it to where your bladder is less overactive. If you suffer from overactive bladder, please give me a call. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to spend with me. Till next time, let's see whose mustache grows more.